I got a ticket because apparently you're supposed to pull over for an emergency vehicle on the night of Nevada's Indiana Cup. And it's so much money and I only have $47. And I already owe my parents $400 and I owe my friend's mom $80. And I can't go to John now, but everything's fine. I'm okay and my parents are really mad at me. And my life's going downhill. So if anyone wants to be like a nice person, give me money to pay for this also, my life is extremely going downhill because I'm getting acne and I'm getting fat and I'm balding right here. Show me some more! This is why they can't be president. <laughs> Money, acne, balding, while well, you're listing your problems, tack on ugly cry face. <laughs> the girl stuck in an emotional traffic jam is Emmy and she filmed it because like anyone born after 1990, she immediately overshares everything. <laughs> She got a ticket because she failed to get in the far lane when passing a police officer who was leaning his fat ass, her words, into traffic. <laughs> Emmy should be crying tears of joy. If she weren't so white, that fat ass Indiana cop, again, her words, might have shot her. Woke joke. I won't even drive with a suntan. Getting pulled over is no fun. You have to listen to the officer gush about what a huge fan he is and smile for a selfie. It's awful. <laughs> Cops don't want to give you a ticket. Writing is not their strong suit. It's weird that they still fill it out longhand. Text it to me, Grandpa. I'll Venmo you the middle finger emoji, and we can both get on with our lives. Texting and driving is illegal, but if you include a picture of your genitals, that's sexting and driving, and there's no law in the books about that. You're obviously not in a great place if one ticket can rip your life apart at the seams, but someday, Emmy will look back on this and just laugh and laugh and laugh, and then the doctors will come in to sedate her. That's why I had her drive on a suspended license to L.A. for this week's Web Redemption. Welcome to Comedy Traffic School, where people who can't drive get lectured by people who can't get booked at comedy clubs. Take your hands off 10 and 2 and put them together for... Daniel Todd! <laughs> Who's ready for some bumper-to-bumper -bumper hilarity? All right. Slow children at play. If they're so slow, they shouldn't be in the street playing. <laughs> Does anyone actually keep gloves in the glove box? <laughs> Once had a guy in here wrecked his cheese truck. Debris was all over the road. <laughs> That's a soft joke. <laughs> Anybody know what STOP stands for? Hmm? Shania Twain's opioid prescription. Stanley Tucci's odor problem. Sad trolls offer pickles. <laughs> Whatever, y'all can suck my balls. I trained under comedy traffic school legend Ron Green. Ron Green! That's right. <laughs> now let's go around the room, find out what landed everyone here today. Sir? I was a bus driver for special needs kids. Long story short, got blackout drunk, six dead. <laughs> Funny enough, I once drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. <laughs> Still got it. Your turn. I didn't get a ticket. Uh, I just like traffic-based stand-up comedy. No points on your license for that. Ooh. Emmy. I've always wanted this show to have an Emmy. <laughs> Where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. Were you embarrassed by your video, or is that just par for the course? OK. I posted it. Obviously didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I can't go to John in Detroit now. And then I realized how many people were seeing it, and I was embarrassed. Oh, that's me waking but my eyes are too swollen to wake. And then I was like, it's fine, because everyone thought it was funny, so it's OK. It is funny. Now, uh, what exactly happened? What traffic violation did you break? I was in Indiana, and I was driving, and I'm in like the slow lane, and there was a cop already had someone pulled over mm -hmm. and taking care of their business. Right. And I just pass him. I didn't know he had to slow down, apparently, because the cop can get hurt even though he's in his car. And he's getting back on, and then, like, he's following me with his lights on. I was like, okay, I'm getting pulled over. And he gives me a ticket. I, like, didn't cry to his face. And then afterwards, I was like, wow, I'm going to get in, like, a lot of trouble. He's like, do you know about this law? I did it, so I said no. And then, like, everything bad that's happened recently just started going into my brain. Mm -hmm. And then I just started crying, and I've my friends there. are like, Emmy, 
shut up. And I'm like, I can't. Your friends weren't very sympathetic. And my friends are laughing while I'm having an emotional breakdown. No. Show me some more! Have you ever considered getting more compassionate friends? No, because I'm not sympathetic either, and we're all like, huge assholes, so, you know, it works. Who all was in the car with you? My good friend Owen and Taylor. Is Owen gay? Yeah. I base that off nothing, because you do seem like a version of every movie that's about <laughs> high school kids. Why were you in Indiana? To see John Bellion. Who? John Bellion. Is he a singer? Yes, all time low. Let's sing a little bit. <laughs> you sing when you cry. <laughs> no. <I'm> like, <laughs> right. It's like, uh, <laughs> Where are you at on Timmy T? I don't know who Timmy T Timmy is. T? You look up Timmy T. Okay. Oh, he's got one song. I think it came out in like 1991. I wasn't alive. No, of course you weren't. But the reason that you are alive, <laughs> Timmy T. Yeah! The, the singing thing that you do with the notes, that's so funny though. And my parents are really mad at me. And my life's going down here. Do you do that regularly? Me and my friends. Oh, so it's a thing that you and your friends do? Yeah, we just randomly sing. It was like, wow, I'm upset. Like, eh. and I just start singing. <laughs> I have no issue with it. It's great. Let's talk about the financial uh, aspect of your video. And it's so much money, and I only have forty-seven dollars. You were crying about your balance in your uh, bank account was below fifty dollars. Yeah. Did they hit you with that fifty-dollar fine? No. Was that like a bluff at your bank, or is forty-seven dollars in Cleveland considered a lot? By the way, your skin has cleared up wonderfully. Well, so my life is extremely going downhill because I'm getting acne and I'm getting fat. Thank you. Did you use Proactive? I use Accutane. Look into the camera and say Accutane. Accutane. Let's see if they give you Accutane. Were you worried about your balding for real? No, I'm balding right here. If you can't see the whole triangle, then I can be there. I'm balding. I'm balding. I think I have a receding hairline. You know shaving your head is the best way to keep your bald spot from spreading? Is that true? Maybe. But this is an eight hour class and I have over seven hours to kill. Who wants to see me shave her head? Woo! Yes! Do you always carry clippers? Yes, because in my off time, I'm also a comedy military recruiter. <laughs> this will actually make you a better driver because women are always distracted by their hair. No big moles. <laughs> I mean, it would be badass if I kept you with a mullet. Hey, I think you've got a good head. I don't know yet. We've got a lot to go. Your first shower is gonna feel so good. I know, I'm excited. That part is legit. Did you ever listen to The Cure? By Lady Gaga? Yeah. Oh, there's that one little bald spot you thought you had. I think you're gonna be happy with this, but maybe not. You, you, you might be terrified. Lean forward. Okay. It's the current climate in Hollywood where right now I feel like blowing on your neck is inappropriate, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to do this. A lot of people do that. They slap the head. Barbers do that. You're gonna, you're gonna start going. I, why do they do that? I don't know. Because they can, and they don't think you'll arrest them. Good news. You don't have to pay your ticket now. Just go on the lam because no one's gonna recognize you. This is so cool. You like the lam? I do like the lam. If you don't, you can always just do this. <laughs> To be clear, I didn't force her to shave her head. She wanted to raise awareness for St. Baldrick's. Now you are all aware.